I center a whole div? I'm not talking about just the, co the content inside the div. We already know how to do that. How do I center the entire div? Like in this case, uh, I've resized this priority div right here, this yellow priority div, but I actually want it centered. I want it to sort of be centered the way this is centered like that. How do I apply sort of the center property or whatnot to the entire div? Um, let's have a look at our code and see what's going on. We've already applied text align center to priority. So we know that that's not going to center the div itself that's actually going to just center the content that's inside the div. If we want to center the div itself, we need to use a different attribute. What we need to do is we need to go margin, okay? And, and this might be a little, this might not make sense at first, but let me see if I can try to explain it to you. I'm gonna type the words auto. Um, margin can have different values and we'll be seeing that in future screencasts, but when you do margin auto on something um, that has a a width now you know you have to have a width that's already defined to that to the element um, when you do auto what you're sort of doing the the effect of that on screen is that it's going to center the entire div why auto well see this is how I remember it uh, whenever you have anything that's centered okay um, by definition something that's centered say looking at this this yellow you know div right here um, the, the margin on this side and the margin on this side are equal, right? That's just the definition of centering something, right? The margin on either side is equal, so therefore the stuff in the middle is centered. Um, so I think of it this way. Uh, whenever I type margin auto, I just think automatically make the margins the same, okay? I don't know if that's what, you know the powers that be, you know, at CSS and who developed CSS we're thinking of, but that's how I think of it. And so hopefully that's helpful to you. So the bottom line is just remember whenever you want to center a div, you type margin auto, let's hit save and let's see what happens. What we're looking here is we're looking for this entire yellow div to shift over and to be centered on our page. So let's hit reload. And that's exactly what happened. We are starting to get closer and closer to this page, and that's pretty exciting. Um, before I move on, let's, we've kind of, I've sort of been glossing over this. When we look at this page here, we see that this entire section, this is actually quite a bit smaller. It doesn't take up the whole page the way this does. How would we change that? How would we change the, the, this section so that it, this whole thing so that it's nice and, and small the way, the, the way this is and nice and centered, okay? Because it's, it's technically, it's already centered, but it's taking up the entire, you know, the entire window here. Well, we already know we actually have all the pieces to do this, right? Well, one of the things that we need to do is we need to resize this whole section. We need to resize it and make it smaller. Okay, we know how to resize a div. We know how to change the width of a div because we did it on this one right here, right? The the code to change the width is just width colon and whatever the percentage is that you want it to be the width of. So we know how to do that already. And then how do we center the whole thing? Well, we just learned how to do that by using margin auto. But what do we apply that to? Right, it's not really obvious. I could apply it to main. Okay, that is possible. I could I could add width, you know, a smaller width. In fact, let's just start typing that out. Width. Uh, let's actually. What what do we think this is? This is 75%. It's more like 80%. I'm just I'm eyeballing it. So 80%. And then uh, margin auto. We could do that. In fact, let's see what happens when we do that. I'm going to go ahead and hit reload. Okay, so that worked but it didn't resize the footer down here. We wanted to apply this to everything. And why do we want to apply it to the footer? Well, because, you know, when we're resizing this, we would just like everything to stay together. Here's what you can do. What we can do is we can actually add a div that will hold everything on our page. So we're actually going to add a fourth div to our page that's going to contain everything. If I were to draw it out on here, it would contain everything including the footer and that's what we call it we're going to call that our container div and that's a really handy trick so that you can do things like you can center your entire page you can move things around you can keep everything nice and neat and close together let me show you what that's going to look like in our html all we're going to do here is we're just going to add another a, an opening div here and a closing div down here 
and you know it might seem a little just think of it as being sort of like the first div inside your body here the opening div here right right after your bo opening body tag and then your closing dig div right before your closing body tag and we're going to give this the id whoops id id equals uh, and we're going to call it container um, just because it's it's the only purpose for this div is to contain all the elements main div which contains your which contains the priority div as well as your footer div and so let's go ahead and and you know uh, write this down here we're going to say container and this whoa what's going on here there we go thanks text wrangler for pointing that out to me um this is what if we actually apply this with this 80 percent width and this margin auto to our container div what do you think is going to happen okay i'm going to go ahead and save that and i'm going to make sure that that's saved as well too what do you think is going to happen if we so we if we just apply the width and the margin auto this is the centering thing and that changes the width to the container div okay well what i expect to happen is that i expect everything in fact let's actually let's get rid of that for now I'm just going to delete that and I'm going to hit save and let's just reload this to see what this looks like. Okay, we're back to where we were started from. I want the whole thing to be resized to 80%. Let's start with that. So let's go with is going to be 80% and let's just start with that. I expect just this, all of this to, to switch to 80%. If I hit reload, that's exactly what happened. See, now we've got one containing div that has everything inside it. Now let's center that by using our trusty margin auto. Let's hit save. And let's see what happens now. Now the whole thing's centered. This is starting to get look really close to this. I mean, we're, we're not quite there yet, but we're the closest we've ever been. Isn't that cool? All right, so now you know how to center uh, you need to know how to change the width of divs, you know how to center content inside divs, and you know how to center entire divs on the page. That's pretty powerful stuff. I hope that you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching, and as always, I will see you next time.